What's up guys, Randomiza here with another quick tech video for you guys and today we're going to check out some cool camera accessories for my brand new Canon USR. So of course without further ado, let's unbox this and see what we get. So for those of you aspiring videographers out there, whether you're an amateur, do this as a hobby or some sort of profession in it, a great accessory to get with your camera rig is a camera cage. Now I did review this small rig camera cage for my 5D Mark IV last year and since I upgraded to a different camera now, I decided to try it again with their new camera cage for the USR. So small rig does a pretty good job at packing everything. All the individual little pieces I ordered comes in their own individual packaging which you can see here. So I did order a few extra things to go along with my uh, camera case here just to make it a little bit more uh, worthwhile to use. The first thing that we have here obviously is the camera cage. And the nice thing about small rig is that they actually give you a Ziploc bag to store your items in. So if you have a handle or something that you don't need to use uh, for a particular trip, you can throw it back in the bag so it's protected and in a spot where you can easily find it. So taking this out, we have some bubble wrap and then the actual camera cage itself. And for those of you who have uh, other cameras, they do make camera cages specifically uh, for specific models. Like, for example, the USR here, the Canon 5D Mark IV, the Sony A7, Nikon's new mirrorless camera, and so on. So you can see here, it's a very good quality camera cage, and this is speaking from my experience with the 5D Mark IV camera cage. It's a solid piece of metal, gives you all access to the ports, uh, screens, and buttons, and of course it has a very nice high quality anodized black finish. Continuing on, the next thing that we have here is a universal wooden handle. I still have the wooden handle from my other previous setup, but I thought it would be nice to have another handle on the left side since the other one only had one for the right side. So again, comes in some nice Ziploc packaging. And here is the wooden handle. This is for the left side. You can see here it's made of a nice solid wood material. Pretty comfortable to hold in the hand. I believe it's a type of rosewood, which is a hardwood. And you can see here, you can adjust the height on it, as well as a built-in coat shoe mount on the top. And a cool feature about this is that this also has a built-in storage compartment for an Allen key here. So you can have one with you all the time in case you need to adjust something. And the last major item is the quick release, which I thought was in the other box. You can see right here. And taking a look at the quick release, we have some tools, as well as the quick release plate itself. And this should make it significantly easier to take your camera off and on the tripod without having to slide it off with the uh, traditional Manfrotto method, which I'm not really too much of a fan of. And the last three things here, which again are everything's beautifully packaged, which I'm really impressed about with small rig, is a safety rail here so I can attach uh, some additional handles onto the cage. And I think this one is uh, another one, I think. Yep, another safety rail. And this is probably a third one, which we'll double check here. And another rail once again. So here's what the safety rail looks like. Basically, these uh, are what you use to attach some of the handles. And the nice thing about these rails is that you can adjust the height on them. So uh, it gives you the flexibility to adjust the height without having to uh, remove the screws all the time. And the nice thing about these, or the accessories, is that they all come with the Allen keys and screws. So if you buy a whole bunch of these, you're gonna end up with a few different Allen keys, which is uh, actually kind of nice. So uh, yeah, anyways, we're gonna put this together and see what it looks like. Alrighty, so I got the camera cage on my Canon USR, which you can see here, it's a very snug fit. Kind of wish it was a little bit bigger around the camera, just so when you slide your camera in, it has a little bit bit more wiggle room, which you can see here in the video that the spacing between the camera and the actual cage is very, very small. One thing I want to note about this camera cage is that you can see here the area where you normally put your hand around the camera, the cage itself is actually curved. So when you put your hand around it, it uh, actually doesn't feel too bad. You can reach the shutter button no problem. With my 5D Mark IV camera cage, I couldn't do that. But because this is er ergonomically curved towards the uh, shape of the actual camera body, it does feel not as comfortable, but doable. So one of the first things I want to put on is this wooden handle, which uh, should go on like this. So we're gonna put it on the side here. So these two screws to screw onto the side, no need for an adapter or anything. So on the other side here, I'm gonna attach one of these rails. And the reason I'm doing that is because my other handle uh, uses a slide mechanism instead of screwing on. So we'll put this rail on first. Then my other handle here that I picked up last year can slide right on. And cool thing about these rails is that they have these uh, kind of bronze shaped, not sure what they're called, but I'm gonna call them stoppers. They flex in and out so you can 
you have to push it down to slide something on, but once something is on, these will keep the uh, handle from sliding off the rail if you need to adjust it. So it should just slide on like so. You can see here it stops it from coming out unless you press it down. All right, so here is what my camera rig looks like all set up on my Canon EOS R. So let's just take a quick overview of this and why I have it set up like so. So first off, we'll start off with the outside, which are the handles. On the top here, we just have a traditional uh, metal hang handle that hangs on the top. That is attached to the slider mechanism here, so I can adjust it this way or this way. And the nice thing about these type of handles is that they have all these screw holes on the top, so you can additionally add more stuff, not just on the cage, but also on the handles. The main reason why I wanted this top horizontal handle is that, one, it makes it super easy to carry around this whole camera rig. Um, rather than holding it like this, or on the other side like this, you can just hold it on the top where it's nicely balanced since the main weight is centered on the camera body. There's also a cold shoe mount on the top, so I could, if I wanted to, mount my microphone on top of here instead. But overall, I definitely recommend a horizontal handle like this as it makes uh, carrying your camera cage and camera setup a lot easier for those of you who want to use your camera cage in a mobile uh, setup. Next we have probably my favorite accessory on my camera cage and that is this rosewood wooden handle. Uh, this handle is really great to hold your camera setup like so, keeps it or keeps everything very stable. And one thing you will notice with setting up a camera cage is that, especially for those of you who are going to use your uh, camera for video shooting, in other words mobile shots, um, moving around, holding your camera like this gives you much more stability than it would if you're just holding your camera without anything on it. But anyways, back to the handle here. This handle is really comfortable to hold, very well made, soft to the touch, and one of the most ergonomically comfortable handles I've ever used. The handle is attached to this piece here, and you can get this handle in a couple different attachments. The nice thing about this one here is that there's a little, uh, kind of like large metal screw here, so you can adjust the handle at different angles. Uh, this mechanism here is just a little red lever that you can pull down, so you can adjust the height of it, which is attached to this slider, which I have attached to the camera cage. And the nice thing about having all these sliders and adjustability is that it just gives you much more flexibility to ensure that you set up your camera rig in the most comfortable position or most convenient position to use your uh, camera. So that's a look at the right wooden handle, now let's look at the left wooden handle, which is a little bit different. So in theory, I could have got the same handle to put on the left side here, but the reason why I wanted this handle is that this handle is a little bit different uh, setup than this one. It's made of rosewood, just like the other handle, uh, a little bit of a different configuration, not as comfortable as this handle, but uh, enough that you can still have a good comfortable grip on the whole camera setup. First off, the arm that attaches the handle to the camera ring is a little bit different than this one. I couldn't go with this style here because all my mic ports and everything is on the side of the camera. If I had a big chunky setup like this, that would interfere and cover up this area if I covered or if I used this handle and covered up this part. So that would render my microphone port useless, which is something I need. So this arm here is a little bit different. It kind of curves out and then it connects to the handle, which is nice because you have all the space here available to ensure that you have full access to our camera ports. The camera cage itself gives you access to those camera ports, but the accessories that you have attached to it, you have to make sure that it also gives you access to those ports, which is why I chose this setup here. Now the arm itself, which you can see, is adjustable. I can move it up and down. The only difference between this one and that one is that I can't adjust it at different angles. So it can go up and down, but it can't change angles, which isn't a big deal for me because I like it straight up like this. Uh, but it does have a bit of adjustability on this side as well. Another cool thing I like about this arm is that unlike the other one, this has a little bit more flexibility in terms of attaching stuff to it. You can see there's three screw holes on the top so you can attach more stuff on top. And there's also a coat shoe mount here which I use to attach to my microphone. One of my favorite features of the, about this handle is that it also has a built-in Allen key. So if you need to change something on your camera rig, you have an Allen key here already attached to your camera rig in case you need to adjust something on the go. So that is the left wooden arm that I'm using for my camera rig. So the last thing I'll show you guys is of course the camera cage for my Canon EOS R. And like I mentioned earlier, the nice thing about small rig is that they have specific made camera cages for specific models from Canon, Nikon, Panasonic, um, Sony. And the great thing about buying a specific made camera cage for a camera is quite obvious. It gives you access 
to all your ports, your buttons, your screens, and even the battery cover on the bottom here to ensure that nothing is impeded or covered up in case you need to access them. The camera cage, of course, itself has a whole bunch of screw holes, so you can attach a whole bunch of different accessories to this camera cage, all the way around the sides, the top, and of course, even the bottom. Now these specific made camera cages are quite a tight fit to, uh, in the, the camera. You can see here there's not a whole lot of space between the camera cage and the camera. Um, I don't like that just because it makes it a little bit more difficult to install your camera into the camera cage because I just don't like how when you're installing it, there's always a chance that the camera cage is going to bump against the camera, which it will. Uh, but the advantage with that is that it just makes it really compact, so it doesn't add a whole lot of extra bulk to the outside of the camera, especially for those of you who are planning on adding a whole lot of stuff to your uh, camera. But overall, I'm definitely pretty happy with this setup here. Um, it's quite obvious that I'm using this more for a mobile setup and also make it easy to use my slider that I have on my tripod and stuff. Uh, but overall, it definitely is a pretty nice setup for me. The other thing I want to mention about this top handle here is that for those of you who are planning on doing a lot of low shots or if you have a slider mechanism that's on the ground, having this on the top makes it easier to move the camera back and forth on the slider or getting low angle shots, for example, let's say do a car review and I wanted to get a nice low angle shot of the exhaust or something, holding the camera like this is a lot easier than holding it like this, uh, which is kind of hard to tell in the video but it makes a big difference in terms of stability and easiness. Some other advantages with having a camera cage is one is protection. Not a whole lot of protection for the lens, but you can see here it's an actual cage around your camera. So if it, if it ever gets bumped or uh, worst case scenario, you ever drop your camera, the camera cage is definitely one of those things that will help protect your camera. Maybe not so much for the insides of the camera, but definitely uh, provide some sort of protection since it is technically a cage around your camera. The biggest advantage with having a small rig here or just camera cages in general is quite obvious. It basically expands the capabilities of your camera. For those of you who have uh, seen bigger YouTubers uh, setups, you'll note that they have large external displays attached to their cameras, uh, audio controls, bigger mics, and just a whole bunch of other stuff that they attach to it so everything is there uh, when they're recording. So with having all those additional accessories attached to your camera, it just gives you better flexibility and more control over the content that you make on your camera more than you would just with the camera by itself. One thing I rave about small rigs, accessories, or camera cages and everything uh, is that they're very high quality made. You can tell uh, through the parts and everything here, everything is precision cut, the paint on it is nice and even, there aren't any, you know, spots that look like it's uh, been cheaped out or anything like that so it, it's a very high quality product that you're buying from small rig which i'm very impressed with the quality and craftsmanship of their uh camera rigs and on top of that that means they're also very well made you can see here i pretty much trust this rig to kind of hold up together i don't i'm not worried about it falling apart or my camera coming off assuming you tighten all the bolts and everything of course uh, but yeah definitely a very solid rig that uh, i would trust using this all the time in terms of any cons or things I don't like about small rig, um, they're not the cheapest product out there, but they're definitely a little bit more affordable than many other uh, camera cage companies. The camera cage itself, for example, is around 100 bucks, so it, it's uh, it's not cheap but it is cheaper than many other companies out there. In conclusion guys, for those of you who are in the market for camera cage and you want to expand your camera's capabilities, whether you're the hobbyist or a professional, you definitely can't go wrong with small rig. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about the small rig setup, you can ask away in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all in the next video.